All right, so in this video today, we're going to replace the plastic grill shell in this Ford truck. We're going to polish the aluminum factory shell. And we might get around to removing the mirrors on the Ford truck if I have time in the fog lights. So stick around, let's roll the intro and let's see how this day goes. <laughs> So we got this side's grill out and we're going to take the other side out here in just a little bit and we're going to uh, replace both of the grill inserts but we're going to polish this aluminum up first and see if we can get it looking any better. All right, so I've been hitting it with a little bit of polish and a power ball. I'm not trying to get it to look like a show car because as you can tell, it's a thousand miles from ever being a show car right now. I'm just trying to see if I can get some shine back in this old aluminum that's on this old truck. And we're bringing a little bit of it back. I'm convinced that if I hit it with a little bit more, if I put a little bit more time into it, or maybe hit it with like a little bit different material than what I'm using, because this is just a quickie job. I'm not really trying to I just want to see if I can restore this without having to buy a new shell. And I think I'm going to be able to save this shell. It does have a pretty good sized dent in it right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a dent in it right there that's pretty rough. Well. And it has some scratches and some blemishes in it. But it also has a 1976 model Ford truck and my grandfather owned it. And if you're curious about the backstory on the truck, if you're just now tuning into the channel, there's a video called Bringing My Grandfather's Truck Home to Restore It. Check that out and it tells the backstory of when you bought the truck and everything. And that's working on it to get it where we are right now. Get it, we got it back running. Had to change fuel tank, carburetor, fuel lines, fuel pump, so on and so forth, plug wires thermostat belts and hoses but it fired right up after all that so i'm going to put this new grill shell in on this side over here Let me go grab and then one. i'm going to take the other one off and my son's excited all right my oldest son's excited to see what it's going to look like so he's going to run in and get the new grill shell and i'm going to put this side in and we're going to go ahead and take the other side out and change both of them out real quick. And I'm probably going to call it a day on working on the truck because, quite frankly, it's like a thousand degrees out here today and I'm burning up. It's like 90 with like heat index of like 105 here. Not the ideal conditions to be polishing metal. I don't have a garage, so it ain't like I could put it in a garage and put a fan on and kind of cool it anything down or do it at night either. So I just have to do it when I got light and when I got time. So we're gonna put this other grill shell in, stick around and let's see what this thing looks like. All right, so we got one side on. It's hot today and it's getting around lunchtime. I'll get this whole thing fired back up and move back into the yard. All right, so when they're replacing this grill, there's a screw right there. There's one right here. There's one in this corner. And there's one in this corner. They're all Phillips. And then you have... If I can find one, you have a quarter drive. Right there, there's one right here. There's one right there. Well, this one has a lot less in it than the, and there's one right here, and there's one right here. And that's all you have to do to change the grill out in that plastic inserts in the grill on these trucks. I'm going to get this side done later on. I already have this side replaced, and it looks a lot better than the old original side. I don't know that you can see the difference on camera, but you can see how much darker that is and how shiny that is compared to weathered and... Yes, I've got some polish on the headlights I need to wash off. But we'll get this other one done here in a little while. 
All right, so I've got the screws removed from the grill. So y'all can see where they go. See that one kind of twisted there a little bit. Hopefully I can get that one back in. I'll zoom in there a little bit so y'all can see that. All right, well, we're gonna replace and put the new grill side in so to match the other side. And see how much it changes the look of the truck. We'll see. I'll go get the other piece and we'll start putting it on. I would have done this on a tripod, but tripod's in my other truck and my Silverado is currently having some stuff done to it. But uh, I'm gonna go get the other grill side and we're gonna roll with the video and go from there. So both sides are in. And I believe we're gonna conclude this video and I'll probably do the mirrors in my next video, taking both of them up. And I'll probably get online, order some new ones for it sometime another year shortly. Try to decide what I wanna go for, go with on it. But all I used for it was this right here, which is a little quarter drive socket with this long extension, which is all Matco. And a four-way DeWalt screwdriver. So, I mean, it was pretty much basic hand tools that you could pick up at any, anywhere. I could have done it with a quarter drive nut driver from Harbor Freight or anything. So, I mean, it was and a four-way screwdriver. So, this is a fairly easy project for anybody to take on. It's got one of these older trucks, and they just want to give their truck a little bit of a facelift. Project Ease was fairly easy. It wasn't a whole lot of, you know, finessing to make anything work. All you had to do is make, uh, I probably could have even changed it to a 73 to 75 grill if I'd wanted to. This is a 76, 77 grill, which my truck's a 76 and a half. So mine has the amber park lots and 76. Before the half year, they had to clear like the 73 through 75s. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to know the backstory on this truck, I'll link it in the comments. But until the next video, I'll catch y'all in the next one.